Welcome to another video my friends, my name is Bijan in case any of you are new here and if you are new here please be so kind, hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up button, you know all the usual stuff that they say to do. So anyways, let's just jump into it here. I'm going to basically be going over a quick, quick little video here, a quick little trade recap on a Facebook trade that I did today in which we made $2,379. Um, when I say it was a quick trade, it really was a quick trade. We were in at 6.33. We were out by 6.37. So that was like a four-minute trade right there. Uh, just to show it to you on the chart here, I got into it pretty much right out of the open. I waited like three, four minutes before I got into it uh, because I was waiting for it to give a dip to this 240 area. As soon as it gave us a little dip to this 240 area, area I kind of you know watched it a little bit. It didn't like flush straight through. It held above it a little bit. Uh, so I said, you know what, let's go on, get into it. The other market, the other side of the market, other things that I look at were looking good as well. Things were looking strong. So I jumped in it uh, and I was out right here at the 242. So it was a quick morning momentum trade. Um, now, there's going to be a little funny things to the calculations of it here. Again, keep in mind, this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to try to even make it less than five minutes. Just a trade recap, guys. Um, so I initially got into it with 40 contracts, but literally one minute later and like 12 cents later, I closed it out. I not closed all of it. I closed a portion of it. I closed 15 of them to size myself down to 25 contracts because once I got into the trade, I kind of looked at it. I looked at my position size and I'm like, well, I'm in it a little too heavy for my personal liking, especially for like a current week expiry and all that, you know, so on and so forth. So I immediately, one minute later, decided to size down. I said, ah, no, I feel more comfortable at 25 contracts into this trade. So I literally sized down immediately, like in one minute within 12 cents. So what we're going to do for the sake of the calculation here, we're not going to count it as 40 contracts. We're just going to count it as 25 contracts. Pretend I got into 25 contracts at 633 and then I sold all of them at 637 for an average price, we're going to say of 348 because we had some going at 350, some 350, 349, 349, then some at 348, then some at 347 there. Uh, so we're just going to call it 348 for the sake of the example. So there's a few ways you can calculate this. You can basically go in and say, okay, we had 25 contracts. We got in it at 260. We sold it at 348. You can do the difference there and say, okay, 348 minus 260 is 88, 88 cents here. But in the sake of options, one is equivalent to 100. So if you see $2.60 here, it's actually 260. Uh, just to put that idea out there in case anyone new is watching this video. Uh, but so it's an 80, 88 cents difference, which is $88. Multiply that by 25. That gives you 2,200. That's pretty much the profit that we had here. 2,379. The extra like 180 comes from that other 15 contracts that I sold for a 12 cent profit, a $12 profit. Um, but that's besides the fact. So just to kind of lay it down for you guys on the chart here, uh, right here, we opened like right up here. Uh, I gave it a little bit of a dip to the 240 area. I got into the calls there. Calls means you make money when the stock goes up. And as we hit the 242 area, that's where I closed it out for that $2,300 profit there. And if we were still holding the trade, you know, I don't like to do the whole woulda, coulda, shoulda thing, but it's currently trading at 437 now. So remember, we sold it at 348. We'll just say 347. So the, the difference is it went up a whole... Basically, a whole nother dollar here, a whole hundred dollars here. If I had 25 contracts, we made an additional hundred dollars on each. That would have been an additional 2,500, meaning we would have been at a just about a five thousand dollar profit here on the day if I was still holding it. If I was holding all 40 contracts, this 2,300 would have been like 3,300. And then if I was holding all of that now, it would have been like seven thousand dollars. But hey, that's besides the fact. I came in, I had my plan, I stuck to it, took my profit. I'm not getting greedy. I'm not upset about the fact that it went even higher. You know what I mean? I got my bulk of the move and I was out in four minutes. I'll gladly do that. So that's pretty much that trade there. Um, let me just, just, just to give you guys the breakdown here. Oh, my iCloud's not properly set up here. It's blocking the view. Um, well, basically up there is basically 260 
times, let me see, maybe I just stretch it out. There we go. 260 times 40. That gives you the cost of the trade if I was holding, if I had all 40 of them. We're going to do a different way of calculating it this time. I'm going to actually subtract what I took out for you guys. So 260 times 40 contracts, that means the initial cost of the trade was $10,400. So do you have $10,400? I hope so. I hope you have that kind of money saved. Uh, if not, you should definitely start saving. Uh, but anyways, that's besides the fact. My point was, if you have that kind of money, you know what you're doing. You could have done this as well. Um, anyway, so cost of the trade was 10400 but I immediately sold 15 of them at 272 each, which means I sold them for 4080 So we're going to subtract that 4080 from that 10400 which basically gives us the entire cost of the 25 contracts that I had, which was 6320 I then sold all 25 of those contracts at an average price of 348 which is 8700 So if you subtract the cost of the trade from what you sold it for, subtract that 6320 from that 8700 that's where you get 2380 And below here is basically the calculation that I initially did for you guys. I said, okay, cool, we had 25 contracts at 260 This is how much it equals. We sold 25 contracts. At 348, this is how much it equals. Subtract them, that's the 2200. And then, just in case anybody wants to get all bent out of shape about those 12 contracts, remember we had a $12 profit on those. We had 15 of them. So, 12 times 15 is 180. 180 plus 2200, that's where you get the 2380 right there, which is where you basically have this. And that's pretty much that, guys. I kind of summed it up for you guys in various different ways. Uh, like I said, I got in it 633 out 637. Nice quick morning momentum trade uh, right from here up to there. Could have been more. I'm not getting greedy. Not worried about it. We're going to move on to the next trade. And that's pretty much that. That's how you stay disciplined and control your emotions. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I just wanted to kind of give you guys just a quick little, you know, update or something like that. You know, I had the time. I said, might as well make them a little video here. Um, I'm still not fully back to making my YouTube videos and all of that because I have uh, you know, a few projects going on, as I like to call them. But once those get wrapped up, I'll try to, you know, come back to making some more YouTube videos more consistently and more frequently for you guys. Uh, but anyways, we'll wrap it up here, guys. If you do want to learn how to do this stuff, you want to join our watch list or trade with us, whatever it is, I'll put the link for our website below in the description. Just make sure that you do also follow me on social media, as that's where I do the majority of my posting. Um, who's Bijan T? That's my name on majority of the uh, social media sites. I'll put the link in the description below as well. And yeah, we'll wrap it up here. I hope you all have a great day.